This video is in memory of Akira Toriyama. I could introduce Toriyama by his legendary work, or his era-defining impact on pop culture, but there's really no need. If you're watching this, you already know who he is, and you've already heard the news of his recent passing. There isn't much I can add to the ocean of analysis and appreciation already out there. Even so, I wanted to make this video to reflect. This is going to be short, to the point, and roughly edited. I'm making this for myself. I wanted to celebrate the impact Akira Toriyama had on my life and the lives of people close to me, and why his passing inflicted a profound sense of melancholy on us. My grief has been complicated. It's unlike anything I've experienced over a public figure, but it's also unique from what I felt for friends and family. Now it should go without saying that Toriyama's work, particularly Dragon Ball, had a deeply personal impact on my formative years. And while dissecting this impact over the past few days, I've come to better understand what Toriyama represented for me. His most obvious effect was on my personal life. I'll be blunt, nearly all of my meaningful friendships from high school revolved in some part over Dragon Ball Z. I still share that connection with many of my closest friends. Just two weeks before the news hit, I was on a long call with some of these friends, discussing our lives, opinions, and such. As the conversation drifted to the old days, we eventually landed on Dragon Ball, and ended up spending hours debating and analyzing it. Hell, we even made a tier list at some point. But the most ironic part is how we ended the conversation praising Toriyama's art and choreography. Just two weeks ago, we were pulling up our favorite manga panels, discussing their composition, and enthusing over why Toriyama was one of the best to ever touch action comedy. And the irony of that is... cruel. When I first heard the news, these were the friends I informed first. In a further stab of irony, our group's profile pic was Goku at the time. I'll never forget the response. When I broke the news, one of my friends scrambled for confirmation, but his knee-jerk reaction was this. It might seem a little harsh, and I'm sure he didn't mean it like that, but it was an understandable reaction. Personally, I didn't get into Dragon Ball in my early childhood. I was well above 14 when I did. While I wasn't particularly mature then, I did have a slightly more developed viewpoint. I feel I experienced Dragon Ball more in terms of what Toriyama intended, at least more than I would have in my younger years. So whenever I thought about it or discussed it, it was always from the perspective of the writing or characters. So my appreciation of Dragon Ball has always been explicitly linked to my appreciation for Toriyama himself. And. I believe appreciation breeds inspiration. In that regard, King Toriyama has inspired all kinds of people, all around the world. For me personally, Dragon Ball solidified my desire to be a storyteller. I want to understand stories better. And someday, I want to be able to tell a story with some fraction of Toriyama's impact. In that sense, for me and my friends, Akira Toriyama has always been an aspirational figure. I know I'm not alone in being inspired by Dragon Ball. Just as it pushed me to write, I've known it to inspire people to be martial artists, animators, and actors. If asked why one man's work can have such a profound impact on so many lives, the answer lies in the central message of Dragon Ball, and how it's improved the attitudes of so many kids for the better. Let's consider my day. After finishing my work, I wanted to record this script immediately and get this video out as soon as possible. But that isn't what I did. Instead, after wrapping up, I took two hours to hit the gym and cook a healthy meal before recording this thing. Why? Because of what I understand to be the main moral of Dragon Ball. Never let anything get in the way of your self-improvement. It might seem obvious, or even simple, but trust me, there are kids out there who need to hear that message. And Toriyama created possibly the most accessible, 
most compelling medium to ever carry it. You can see its effects everywhere. I see it in all the people wearing Dragon Ball t-shirts in the gym. I see it in my friends as they strive to improve their craft. I see it in myself every time I drag myself out of bed. I see it in the millions of people that lovingly create artwork, fan films, and communities around this timeless classic. I see all these people with passion in their hearts and fire in their eyes as they attempt to go even further beyond. All because of one man. I wanted to make this video because I was struggling to accept Toriyama's mortality. His legacy is untouchable, and given his impact on my life, I struggle to think of him as simply an artist, a public figure, or an aspirational figure. Honestly, I didn't know what to think or how to feel about someone who's touched so many lives and inspired so much ambition, so much good, so much love. So who was Akira Toriyama to all of us? After sitting on it for a few days, I think I might have figured it out. Rest in peace, Toriyama Sensei. We promise you will not be forgotten. And on behalf of everyone, of all the artists, martial artists, athletes, animators, writers, students, and everyone else, thank you, Akira Toriyama. You were our hero.